Shalom, brothers and sisters, all honor and praises goes to our Heavenly Father Yahweh in the name of Yahusha Hamashiach. Brothers and sisters, I'm doing this video here just in case some of you may be confused whether Yahusha is the word which is Yahuwah. There seems to be a lot of brothers and sisters confused about this because of the assemblies that we left according to what they was preaching and teaching the Trinity doctrine and and uh, many other things, brothers and sisters. Now, we as an awakened people, as the Yahshualites know that Yahuwah is our Savior. He is our Deliverer. That is the name of Yahusha. That's what his name means. Yahuwah is our deliverer. And there are scriptures that prove who Yahusha is. That Yahusha is in the Father and the Father is in him. And we who accept Yahusha is in Yahusha. Therefore, the Father is in us, and we are all in all with the Father, because the Father is all in all, brothers and sisters. So, let's just let the scriptures speak for itself, whether Yahusha is indeed a part of Yahuwah. Right here at Isaiah 9 and 6, it says, For to us a child is born, to us a, a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty, Alua, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Right off the top, the son this child that was supposed to be born has the same names as the Heavenly Father, doesn't he? How can some not see this? I don't know. But let's go to the next one. Matthews 1 and 23. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel or Emmanuel which means Yah with us. Yah is with us. It's saying that when this child, when this virgin conceives this son by the Kodesh Spirit of the Most High, this son will be Yah with us. Romans 9 and 5, To them belong the patriots and from their race. According to the flesh is the Messiah who is a Lua over all. Baraka forever. Aman. Y'all see this here? Come on now. It's just so much evidence pointing toward who that Yahusha is the word. And the word was Yah. Therefore, Yah was highly exalted. Him, wait a minute. Therefore, Yah has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is above every name. Y'all see that? That's Philippians 2 and 9. Yah, Yahuwah exalted himself when he exalted his son. <clears throat> Yah was manifest in the flesh. Y'all see that? First Timothy 3 and 16. Yah was manifest in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of messengers, preached unto the nations. This means nations. Beloved. I mean, believed on in the world 
received up into esteem. Come on now, the word is speaking for itself, isn't it? But some just, they won't see this. They they can't see what we see at all. <clears throat> Hebrews 1 and 8. But of the Son, he says, your throne, O mighty one, is forever and ever. The scepter of uprightness is the scepter of your kingdom. Wow. Can y'all see who the Son is? And there is only one, is Yahuwah. There's only one. There's his word, and then there's his Kodesh spirit. Y'all hear what I'm saying? And his word was his only begotten from above. And Yahusha it was his representation on earth of himself that he may save his people. You can't expect the Most High in all of his esteem and all of his power to come down himself because he's, he's not able to die. So he begotten his son of himself and made him a little Lord that he may be born through a virgin, Miriam, that he may fulfill the, the prophecies of his word and save his people save us from sin and death again is Yahusha the word which is Yahuwah yes if you have eyes to see you will see this and again brothers and sisters I want to reiterate those who are out there with foul spirits, their spirits always show. They always ready to attack. They always cursing. If y'all haven't noticed these things I have over the over the last ten years, these same spirits, and and they always saying these different names. Now I know we all have a period of time to come out of these different names and the Most High will lead you into that if you are His. He will lead you out of all these different names that you've been calling on starting with G-O-D and J-C and He'll work with you. But if you continuously pay homage to that foul spirit He's going to let that foul spirit take you somewhere else in your mind, in your heart and you will be You'll be spewing forth things, spewing forth corruption, doing things that are not convenient, trying to make monthly income out of your brothers and sisters. Just as we've seen with many of our brothers and sisters that rise up and make their ministries about money. And yeah, they got a good tongue to deceive, remember. Hashitah comes as a messenger of light and so does his ministers. They look, they look like that. They look like the part. But their works will show in the end who they truly are. And they will have a foul tongue. They will speak words. They will curse. When the Most High gave the commandment not to be as the heathens. Do not speak as they speak. Or he wants you to conform to his spirit. You know what I'm saying, brothers and sisters? So this is how you know them. You know them by their fruits. You'll be able to pick these people out if you take the time. And um, while I was reaching out trying to help someone, I didn't take the time to check out the fruits of their labor. And uh, sometimes we get caught up like that, you know, but it's still good to do good for people if they're reaching out to you asking for for help 
it's still good to do to those, to the just and the unjust. But there comes a time when you got to cut people off because their belief systems, their teaching. If you don't, it could rub off on you and it could corrupt the flock or the, the, the sheep in Messiah's fold. And so warnings do have to go out if you, you, you make a mistake any time and promote somebody that you're not supposed to be promoting. It's okay to help them, you know, financially or whatever, but promoting them is a different story, brothers and sisters. But anyway, let's get back to is Yahusha the word, which is Yahuwah. So, when you say that Yahusha is just a man and he was only, he only existed from the point of Miriam, Miriam's conception through the Kodesh spirit of the Most High. And that's the only time he existed. Then you throw out Yahuwah and Yahusha at the same time. And I'm telling you, people that say these things, they always have a foul spirit, y'all, hiding in the wings. And they'll pretend they put on a mask in front of you. But in their heart, they're ravenous wolves. And they're looking and they're searching. And they're ready to attack and snap and, and, and do and say all these things. I've seen it even in the comment sections and different videos I done put out in the past. And I've seen it from talking to different people. And I, I, y'all remember Judah for life when I messed up with him, made a mistake and uh, promoted him on my channel. He had that spirit upon him and uh, he was cursing. And I talked to him about that and he, he was he was cursing less and less. It seemed to me like he was trying, but then he. He just fell completely off the charts because he was uh, into the, you know, studying so much stuff that it took him away from the Most High. You got to be careful with all the studying as well, brothers and sisters, of these other books of of the heathens and Egyptians. And it, it could take your mind and it took him away. It's, it took him away first. He came back, but then. He went right back and he, he was worse than he was before. So let's get back to this. Philippians 2, 5 and 6. You must have the same attitude that Yahushua Mashiach had. Though he was Yah, you say, though he was uh, a mighty one, he did not think of equality or to be equal with Yah as something to cling to. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Pretty much, he was equal with Yah. He's the, he's begotten directly of him. John 17, 21. That they all may be one as thou, Father, art in me and I in thee. That they also may be one in us. That the world may believe that thou hast sent me. Let these words speak for itself. John first, John 1 and 18. No one has ever seen Yah. But the one and only son. So he's been declaring that he saw Yah. So how could he have seen Yah. If he was just. He was only a man. And he was only born. At the conception of Miriam, who is himself Yah and is in closest relationship with the Father, has made him known. It's the Father that made him known, brothers and sisters, to all of us. I mean, some people just can't see this, y'all. I mean, it's just plain and simple. It's right here for us to see. Now, I want to remind y'all that the word G O D. Uh, we know that what that exactly means, but Yah 
if you remember um, me going over that, Yah means self-existent one. So we know that the Messiah himself even said, I am, when he said before Abraham was, I am. So that goes right along with what's being spoken right here in scripture. So scripture is going to prove itself for those who got ears to hear and eyes to see. Colossians 2, 9 and uh, 9, and, 9 through 10. <laughs> for in him the whole fullness of deity dwells bodily. Now, let me go to King James Version very quick. Colossians 2, 9 through 10. <clears throat> 10. Okay, let's see. Colossians. What did I say? 2? Two? 2, 9 through 10. 9 through 10. Okay. <clears throat> For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Yahid bodily, and you are complete in him, which is the head of all principality and power, in whom also you are circumcised with the circumcision made without hands. This is the true circumcision, y'all. It's the ones made without hands, in putting off the body of the sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Hamashiach. Buried with him in baptism, wherein also you are risen with him through the faith of the operation of Yah, who have raised him from the dead, and you being dead in your sins and the uncircumcision of your flesh, have he quickened together with him, having forgiven you all trespasses. Now, this is the most important part of this understanding of who Yahoo Shah is and how that's connected with Yahuwah who is our Savior. He is our Savior and in Yahoo Shah he has saved us, brothers and sisters, and he has prepared Hamashiach for this moment. So let's go on and let the word prove itself. John ten and thirty three we are not stoning you for any good work, they replied, but for blasphemy, because you, a mere man, claim to be Yah. Isn't this what they are saying right now and our, our brother was saying? He's just a mere man. And they wanted to stone him because he was claiming to be Yah. And we're claiming that he is Yah. And this other, this brother is saying that he's just a mere man. Can y'all see the Pharisees has returned? Can y'all see the spirit? We see it in those camps and organizations that we may have uh, watched and been a part of, but we came out of like, uh, IUIC, G, uh, G, GMS, uh, ISUPK, GOCC, um, and multiple other camps that that have a have this Pharisee spirit. The sons of the Pharisees are alive, y'all. Can y'all see the same thing happening right now? Even with my brother whom we helped, saying, he's just a mere man, and he claims to be Yah, and they call that blasphemy, and isn't this brother telling me the same thing? That's why I asked him, do you want, do you want to stone me? <laughs> Can y'all see this? Who knows? Maybe there's still some hope for the. Maybe he'll wake up. I don't know. I'm talking about Brother Shaul. 
John 5 and 18. This was why the Jews were seeking all the more to kill him. Because not only was he breaking the Sabbath, but he was even calling Yah his own father, making himself equal with Yah. And they cannot understand this. The Jews, this brother and other brothers want to kill us. They seeking our lives, y'all. They want us to believe like them. That's the same as killing me or killing you. So that we may believe as they believe. That's death unto us, y'all. The same as the Jews sought to kill him. And you seeing the same thing take place today. Be not deceived, brothers and sisters. Be not deceived. Right here, John 1 and 1. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with Yah. And the word was Yah. The word is Yahusha. He was in the beginning with Yah. Begotten of him. He was always in Yah. Yah begotten him. So that he may complete this mission. Even before the world was made. He was there. He was a part of Yah and was Yah. That concept is foreign to the minds of the flesh. But if you come out of the flesh and you get that spiritual understanding, let the spirit of truth give you that understanding by taking the time, you will eventually understand the word was always with Yah and the word was his son. That's why he can... He can say, I am. It's a part of Yah. Come down from above. John 1 and 14. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we have seen his esteem. Esteem as of the only son from the father. Full of mercy and truth. Again, this is another deity. I, that's why I don't say this word, y'all. Y'all look it up. First John 5 and 20. And we know that the Son of Yah has come and has given us understanding so that we may know Him who is true. And we are in Him who is true. In His Son, Yahusha HaMashiach. He is the true Alua and eternal life. Wow, the word has proven itself, y'all. Romans 10 and 13, for everyone who calls on the name of Yah will be saved. The name of Yah or the name of Yahusha, which means Yahweh is our deliverer. John 8, 51 and 58. The people said, you aren't even 50 years old. How can you say you have seen Abraham? Yahusha said, I tell you the truth. Before Abraham was, now they put this even born, I am. Before Abraham was, I am. Yeah, that meant, it does mean before he was even born. Before he existed. I am. And he's telling you who he is right here in the verse. But. Our brothers and sisters just can't see it and they can't wake up y'all. John 8, 22 and 24. It is something when someone gets into your ear and starts speaking and chattering. And you want to believe that lie. Your ears are tickled and itching and you hear it and you just, you receive it and it seeds in so deep that you cannot, it cannot be dug out. At least not by you, the most I can dig it out and all things are possible here. But when you won't let him dig it out through fasting and prayer and praying and asking him, Father, is this the truth? Tell me the truth. I'm fasting and praying. Reveal it to me. I'm 
you got to go in deep sometimes when when you are confused and you you're believing in something that ain't in the scriptures that ain't true you have to go in deep with prayer and fasting and pulling yourself away from everything and everyone for a long period of time to to you get your answer are you going to continue to walk in the way you believe you should go and what you believe in and what you think you're hearing test that spirit to see if it is of Yah John 8 22-24 this made the Jews ask will he kill himself is that why he says where I go you cannot come but he continued you are from below I am from above now, come on, what more do you need when he says, I'm, if he was just born through Miriam and was just a mere man? You see, you have to toss out the whole New Testament and never use it again if you believe that Yahusha was just born a man and he only existed from the time of the conception of Mary. You have to toss out all these scriptures that I'm showing you now. Or you, your brain will just listen to that other spirit. And you won't even see what we're, we're seeing. And you'll see something entirely different. Because the other spirit is going to be making you see those things. That's not convenient. And it's not true. And that, uh, that you will believe a lie. That you may be damned. Again. You are from below. I am from above. You are of this world. I am not of this world. He's telling you. I told you that you would die in your sins. If you do not believe that I am he, you will indeed die in your sins. If you don't believe that he is who he's just telling you who he is, you're going to die in your sins. And I don't want that for any one of my brothers and sisters to die in their sins. He is, again, this made the Jews ask, will he kill himself? Is that why he says, where I go, you cannot come? But he continued, you are from below. I am from above. You are of this world. I am not of this world. I told you that you would die in your sins if you do not believe that I am he. You will indeed die in your sins. And many of our Hebrews are going to die in their sins because they don't believe what we believe, brothers and sisters. They don't believe that Yahusha is Yahuwah in the flesh is the word is his son begotten directly from him directly a piece of him a part of him and though that part came off it doesn't mean that he's separate from the most high he's still one with him Yah and him and he and Yah you even have to throw out those words if you believe in that doctrine of men that he only existed from the point of conception on forward let the word prove itself brothers and sisters john 13 18 through 19 i am not referring to all of you i know those i have chosen but this is to fulfill this passage of scripture he who share my bread has turned against me I am telling you now before it happens so that when it does happen, you will believe that I am who I am. Wow. Wow. Now, doesn't this sound familiar? Doesn't this sound like Exodus? You believe that I am who I am? Can y'all make that connection? Isaiah 44 and 6. Thus says Yahweh, the king of Yahshua and his redeemer. 
Yahweh of hosts. I am the first and I am the last. Besides me, there is no Alua. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Yahweh is talking about himself and his Redeemer. Who is that, y'all? And who did he make king over Yahshua when the Father is the great king, right? Can y'all make the connection that the word is in Yahweh? And Yahweh is the word? Look at this. So easy. It's right here. It's easy for us, but not for others. 1 Corinthians 8 and 6. Yet for us there is one Alua, the Father, from whom are all things, and from whom we exist, and one Master, Yahushua HaMashiach, through whom are all things, and through whom we exist. Y'all see that? Is the connections being made? I hope the confusion, if, if any, about this subject is clearing up. If any of you had any confusion. Revelations 2 and 8. And to the messenger of the assembly in Smyrna write, The words of the first and the last who died and came to life. The first and the last. Didn't he say he's the first and the last? Revelations 1, 17 through 18. When I saw him, I fell at his feet as though dead. But he laid his right hand on me saying, Fear not, I am the first and the last and the living one. I died and behold, I am alive forevermore. And I have the keys of death and Hades. Now let's go to Revelations one seventeen and <clears throat> and when he saw him I fell at his feet as dead and he laid his right hand upon me saying unto me fear not I am the first and the last I am he that liveth and was dead and behold I I am Alive forevermore. Amen. And have the keys of hell and of death. Up here he says. I am Alpha and Omega. The first and the last. And what thou seest right in the book. This was Yahusha. Brothers and sisters. Talking to John. Saying he, he is. I am. Alpha and Omega. The first and the last. Let's continue to go on. Matthews 2, 1 through 2. After Yahshua was born in Bethlehem of Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of, <coughs> of the Jews? We saw a star when it, it rose and have come to worship him. Yes, they was worshiping him, brothers and sisters. He is king over Yahshua. And we know the Most High is our great king. And he appointed his only begotten son to be king over Yahshua, who is of himself. And they went and worshiped this man. Just as I said before, if you believe that um, Yahusha was just a mere man, then this should be blasphemy to you. And you have to throw out all the scriptures now. You have to throw out the New Testament and you can't use it again. These people went worship him. Let's look at some more. Matthew 28, 8-9. So the women hurried away from the tomb, afraid yet filled with joy, and ran to tell his disciples suddenly Yahshua met them greetings he said they came to him clasped his feet and worshipped him 
So now you got to say these women did something they ought not to by falling down at his feet and worshiping him. Remember the most I said have no other mighty ones before him. Isn't this breaking the first commandment? If you drop down on the feet to worship a mere man. Well, of course, this is after his death when he came back in his new form and his new body. But doesn't the scripture say to worship no one but Yahweh? Why are they worshiping at his feet? Acts 7, 59 through 6, 60. And as they were stoning Stephen, he called out, Yah, uh, Master, Yahusha, receive my spirit. And falling to his knees, he cried out with a loud voice, Master, or, or Yahweh, do not hold this sin against them. You can say Yahusha here too. Yahusha just means Yahweh is my deliverer. Do not hold this sin against them. And when he had said this, he fell asleep. And let's go up here again. Acts 7, 59. Again, we are just proving who Yahusha said he was and who, who the scriptures had. Say who he is and who the Most High say who he is. And they stoned Stephen, calling upon Yah or Lua and saying, Master Yahusha, receive my spirit. What? So you got to throw this out because he's calling upon who? He's calling Yahusha. Yah, the mighty one. Wait a minute. Oh, you got to throw all this out now. You got to take this out or even uh, start saying, oh, they added that. They changed this and that. He's calling. I mean, it's plain and simple right here. But who has eyes to see and ears to hear? Brothers and sisters. Matthew 28 19 go therefore and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Kodesh Spirit remember the three are one the, the three bear witness and Shamayin above the Father there's your word made flesh the Son and of the Kodesh Spirit these three are one I ain't talking about no trinity y'all I'm just saying, he is one. There, he didn't say I'm three. He's one. There is no separate entity called Mrs. Kodesh Spirit of the Most High sitting on their throne next to the Most High. You hear what I'm saying? There's the Kodesh Spirit that's in the Father. It's in the sun. You know what I'm saying? Because the sun was begotten of him. Second Corinthians 13 and 14. The grace or the esteem. Let's just say the mercy of the master Yah Shah Meshach and the love of Yah and the fellowship of the Kodesh Spirit be with you all. Notice the three is being spoken of again by Paul. So why are you listening to men these days when you, the prophets, the disciples, the apostles? Y'all hear you know what I'm saying? All spoke of these three which are one. So whenever Yah was mentioned, even in the Old Testament, you you talk you're still talking about the son and his in his Kodesh spirit, for the three is one. There's a mystery most don't understand. Well, let's just say a lot of people don't understand, and that's how they get tripped up. 
You see, uh, the the New and Old Testament isn't actually the New and Old Testament. It's the word of Yahweh that contains the first covenant and the renewed covenant. It's a complete book. But the way the heathens, or let's just say those who put together, translated the scriptures in the past the way they did it, they put it to their liking and how they wanted it and removed books and made their version of our book the way you see it today. And so we see the, through their eyes while reading the scriptures on how they put it together instead of the, through our own brothers and sisters' eyes in the past, our prophets and our uh, disciples and apostles. We have to look through their eyes and see how they saw the scriptures. And they was living out the testimonies at that time of the New Testament. Living it out. So there was just the scriptures alone at that time. With the testimonies and the first covenant. And a, and some scriptures that says that there's a second covenant. A renewing of the covenant coming. When the Messiah comes. And so the testimonies about the renewing of that covenant. Was spoken. In what. They call the New Testament. Brothers and sisters. John 20, 27 through 28. Then he said to Thomas, put your finger here. See my hands, reach out your hand and put it into my side. Stop doubting and believe. Thomas said to him, my master, my Alua. There it is again. You have to throw out the whole book of John. If you're trying to say Yahusha is not a part of Yahuwah and that he didn't exist before the conception in Miriam's womb. You have to throw out the whole New Testament and many of the old scriptures as well. Second Peter for one and one. Simon Peter, servant and apostle of Yahusha, Yahusha HaMashiach, to those who have obtained a faith of equal standing with ours by the righteousness of our Alua and Savior, Yahusha HaMashiach. What more? You even got to throw away Peter. The words of Peter got to go in the trash if you believe that Yahweh was not a part of Yahu. I mean, Yahusha is not a part of Yahweh. If you believe that he was not the word made flesh and that the word lived as the son of Yah with them before Miriam's conception. You see how easy people can be tripped up. Acts 20 and 28. Keep watch over yourselves and all the flock of which the Kodesh spirit has made you overseers. Be shepherds of the, the assembly of Yah. Which he bought with his own blood. Who brought with his own blood? Yah. Yah. Be shepherds of the assembly of Yah. Which he brought with his own blood. Who did this with his own blood? Yah. The word has proved itself brothers and sisters. Give me a hallelujah. In the comment section if you understood this. Hallelujah. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Be not deceived by every spirit, but test it.